Hi guys, Jen here from A and in Suds and Such and Be Scented. I am making oatmeal milk and honey soap. Um, I have a custom order for it. And I'm doing, um, they wanted just uh, the one loaf, but I'm out of it. So I am making enough for both of us. And so I've got my new soaping containers for my 10 pound batches. I'm really excited. I'm going to do the heat transfer method. Have all of my additives and all of that back here. Um, so, what I'm going to do uh, is that these lids fit like awesome. Alright, let's make sure you guys can see good. Let's back it out a little bit. There we go. So this is all just hard oils. I just mixed up my lye water. It's piping hot. Be very careful. I'm gonna move this to the sink. Out of my way. Get a big spatula and we're going to start stirring. Now back here in the back I have my liquid oil which is my rice bran. You, if you guys keep up with me you all know that I like to use rice bran and not olive. So um, a lot of people want to know how to do the heat transfer method. It's very very easy. You, um, It's actually best to have only your hard oils in the mix here because um, you know they'll take you know the liquid oils is already liquid there's no sense in heating that up so you put your very hot lye water um, of course you know had silk in it I just mixed it long enough to make sure the silk was dissolved and you know pour it straight into here um, for anybody who wants to know the my new slab mold or my new molds are for 10 pounds of soap this is a six quart container um, that I got from Webstaurant the Webstaurant store online um, they were really inexpensive these are the frosted round ones they were like three dollars and something a piece and the lids I think were like a dollar but I like the lids because I like to prep the night before so I can put a lid on the oil and you know not have to worry about it. So anyways, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and add, this is my oats, my goat milk, my kale and clay, uh, col colloidal oatmeal, um, goat milk, my cream, uh, it's all in powder form, I just like it better that way. It's easier for me to measure, so I'm going to add this in. And I'm also going to add, this is the only time I ever put, this is ground oatmeal in my little uh, coffee grinder. This is uh, oats that I just grind up on the espresso setting. Um, this is the only soap that I add additional oatmeal to. So we're going to add all those in there. This soap is fantastic for um, sensitive skin or just uh, people that have really dry skin. You know, the oatmeal is really, really good. The extra oats in there um, are very mildly exfoliating. Um, it's just fantastic. So as you can see, in just, what, four minutes? We are about completely, completely dissolved. Everything is about melted. Here's my um, honey that I put in. Let's scrapey, scrapey that out. Holly uh, from Missouri River Soaps actually helped me to get the right containers. She uses containers like these also, but hers are square. And she also gets them from the Webstaurant store. And she actually, you know, we discussed our batch sizes and um, 
you know, to determine what would work best for my soap. And we both agreed that the six quart container would be plenty big enough. So I'm actually going to get ready. I'm going to add in my liquid oils. And it should, my guessing is it should be full to where the handle starts. That was my guessing when I, when I did this. Ooh, and I'm like almost spot on. So I'm gonna scrape this out. I do the heat transfer method when um, I'm behind on prepping and stuff like that. Like, um, kids were on a two hour delay this morning, so um, I decided to do it this way. So, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful soap. And I'm gonna get this out of here. This is such an easy soap to do. Um, I don't, this is all I do besides add the fragrance. And I'll go ahead and pour that in there too and use the stick blender. Here's my fragrance. It's oatmeal, milk, and honey. It's just a very clean scent. Now, yeah, it's about the same. Where it's such a deep container, um, well, it's not as deep as the other one that I used. Um, I put my stick blender together first before I stick it in here. When I fill my container, it's just warm, it's not hot, and that is because I did not add my liquid oils. I waited. There's a little bit of, looks like palm oil right there. Got it. Some people that say that um, they have a hard time getting um, their lye solution to melt everything. So this is another way to do it. Also, um, don't add your liquid part. Um, my recipe is more hard oils than soft. So, um, you know, it's pushing it for it to melt it. But as you can see, very easy. The honey turns it this beautiful color. Now, I'm gonna pause you guys because I want to get this to a nice trace um, before I put it in my mold because I'm gonna put some bubble wrap on it. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to clean off my stick blender here. Um, it's a nice, what I call medium trace. It's not super thick, but it is not super thin. Clean my stick blender off for the next batch. Oh, yay. Yummy, yummy. Just gonna stir out some of the bubbles. This is one of my fastest selling soaps for anybody that wants to know. I have a hard time keeping it in stock. I would have done a whole um, double batch for myself for my uh, website but I had a custom order for some so trying to kill two birds with one stone I guess a little bit is better than none so in we go not just yummy looking it's very honey colored Oh, 
All right. Scrapey, scrapey. Now, I have cut these little strips. I'm going to put one on either side of the mold while it's good and fluid. Pat, pat, pat. There's my little piece to go down here. Okay, and this one is going to go on this side. They're not perfect, but it's okay. When the bars get cut, you're not going to notice. There's my little piece. Had a little bit of extra on that one. That's okay. Okay, now once it sets up, I'll swirl the middle section. So, pausing again. Okay, I think it's ready. I'm actually going to turn this a little bit. Now, now that I've kind of separated it, I'm going to take my glass rod. Do a little swirl. <coughs> All right, just like so. All right, guys, I'll bring you back when we cut it. All right, guys, I am here to cut the oatmeal milk and honey soap. See that gorgeous honey color. So. Let me cut a small end slice. There we go. This soap gelled very well. And of course, you know, I went ahead and I took the bubble wrap off when I unmolded it. You can see that it looks kind of nice. Now the custom soap, you know, one of these loaves is a custom soap and she wants it cut how I normally cut my soaps so I'll just cut them all the same it's kind of boring you know it's all the same but you guys can watch it and listen to me chit chat today is my husband's birthday and I asked him what he wanted special to cook for me to cook and he just wants me to make him homemade cheeseburgers. <laughs> so, that's easy enough for me. I can do that. So we're going to make him some cheeseburgers and 
that'll be that. This is one of my best selling soaps. So if you are interested in this soap, when it gets listed, please grab it. I'm going to make more, but <laughs> I can't. This is the hardest soap I have to keep in stock. I need to re and my facial soap. I'm all out of it. I need to remake my facial soap and I need to remake my pine tar soap. Um, I need to make a scrubby soap for like mechanics. My mother-in-law asked me to get some of that because um, they really like it at their house for when guys have been working on stuff. So I need to get that made for my mother-in-law. I have just so many soaps that I need to get made and I feel like I just I'm not gonna get them done you know it's just so crazy. Um, I'm so thankful for as busy as I am. I never would have thought I would be this busy. But I am, and I'm very thankful. I'm running a special right now through the weekend. 20% uh, off everything I got on the website. I've got quite a few lotions and some soaps. Just to clear out inventory for um, Valentine's listing. I don't have a lot in stock, but... Um, I think I have like six or seven different soaps, maybe. So if you guys are wanting that, uh, coupon code is uh, HOLIDAY, because I'm clearing out my holiday stock. Twenty percent off of your whole order, and if you do order over fifty dollars, after your coupon, then you know I will refund your shipping. Mm -hmm. This soap smells really good too. Mm. You can smell, it's like you can smell the oatmeal. It's got a warm scent. It's quite good. Last cut. And I don't know how she wants her samples cut, so I'll leave them whole and I'll cut my samples up like I normally do. Because yes, when you order whole soaps from me, you get the sample pieces too. You get it all. And I cut mine into a quarter. Alright guys. I thank you much for watching. And I'll catch you on my next video.